So there's a, a, a couple things to understand about assemblies because there's actually two different kinds of assemblies, um, at least in Lizzie. One application of the word assembly is where I have a pack of oil that I order from the supplier. They send it to me as a six pack. And I, so I order the six pack of oil, but I don't sell the six pack of oil. I sell individual quantities of oil. So I, I take them out of the six pack and then I sell them as individual items. So what the first step in dealing with kits or dealing with assemblies is understanding that you have two different types of assemblies that you'll, you're going to be working with. One, they're pre-built and you're unassembling them to sell them. And the other is that you're ordering individual pieces and then you are assembling them into a, an assembly that you're going to sell. So they're literal opposites of each other. Now, the way that you set up assemblies is gonna start off the same. The very first thing we have to do is we have to build, we either have to have a part number or we have to make up a part number that is going to represent the assembly, the, the completed thing, either when I order it or when I build it up in, inside the dealership. So once you understand that, it'll, it'll kind of help figure out which one of these paths you're gonna go down. Now. On the assembly, the thing that you're going to actually order or the thing that you're going to actually sell, depending on which one of the two scenarios you're, you're chasing, um, you're going to edit the assembly record. And then down here, you have these options to uh, tell it that this is going to be the assembly. Now, when you set up the assembly, you have some additional options that you can choose from. One of them is whether you order by master. And what that basically means is that the assembly itself, this item, this part number, is what you order. And so what we're telling it right now is that this assembly pack, this assembly of oil, is what I order from the, the, the vendor, the supplier. And I want Lizzie to unbuild this before she places any order. So if she tries to sell an individual item and I happen to have four more six packs in stock, I want her to automatically unbuild one of those six packs so that I can go ahead and supply the customer with a with single quantity of oil before we place any more orders. And the other thing is that I want her to automatically unbuild this kit when she receives it. So I'm going to order one six pack of oil, but when I receive that one six pack of oil, I'm actually going to be receiving six individual quantities of that oil. Um, and you're going to see through this series of videos how all this stuff plays out. But, but the big thing to understand is that if you are building the kit itself, so you're ordering a bunch of individual things and building up the kit, then none of these options here are going to really apply to you because your kit is actually a, a part number that you made up that you're ordering a bunch of individual things and putting them all together and selling it as a kit. So in that configuration, you don't need to worry about the order by master. In fact, you don't want order by master turned on because you're never going to order your kit because you always build your kit. You're never going to need to auto unbuild before you place any orders and you're never going to unbuild on, on receive because you're not ordering the kit, you're ordering individual pieces. So if you're building the kit yourself, the only option you need here is to tell it it's an assembly. If you are ordering the assembly and you're unbuilding it to sell the individual things that are in it, then you're going to possibly check one or more of these options that are here. So setting up the kit is the first thing, or the assembly, is the first thing that we need to, be, need to do in order to start this whole process. And that literally is all there is to setting the kit up itself, the, the assembly up itself.